We're here with Mount Vernon Nazarene University men's basketball coach Jared Rene. Coach, uh, just finished up uh, the season a couple of weeks ago. Kind of tell us about the season and, and how the team especially grew as the season went forward. Sure, you know, we had uh, the, this group this year was, was the youngest team in the Crossroads League. Uh, you know, we, we started uh, some underclassmen the majority of the year and uh, just continuously got better throughout the year. You know, just kind of seeing where we began uh, in October to where we finished uh, in late February. I thought we just continuously got got better each and every day, each and every week, and uh, that, that's what this program is is about. We're, we're process driven, and, and, and we really try to hit home on that each and every day. And, and our guys really bought into that uh, process driven mindset. And, uh, couldn't be more excited for this group for the way they finish the season uh, and, and kind of where we're headed uh, in the near future. A couple of players who had really had breakout years, Josh Ashwell was a third team all crossroads league. Uh, Brett Vipperman was named to the newcomer team. Can you talk about those two guys and the impact they made on this team this year? Sure, you know, Josh was, you know, our leader. Uh, he was our point guard on the floor. Uh, he was our emotional leader on the floor as well. Uh, kind of did uh, a lot of different things for us. Obviously, uh, he had the ability to score the basketball. Uh, he rebounded really, really well at the guard position and I believe was, was third in the country in total assists. Uh, you know, that, that's uh, a stat that we really, really value. We really want to share the basketball. And, and Josh obviously uh, really, really took charge of the way we want to play offensively on, on really moving the ball and, and doing different things. And, uh, and Vip had a great freshman year. You know, he started out really, really strong. Uh, you know, middle of the year, kind of had, had his ups and downs, but then really, really finished the season strong and, and really solidified himself as, as one of the premier freshmen uh, in our conference. Some other guys that did really well, Jeremiah Roberts, I thought had a great freshman year. And then uh, Eric Roby, who's a senior, had a special year too, reaching that 1,000 point milestone here at MVNU. Sure, you know, Jeremiah had a great year. You know, he, he started the year uh, by not playing. You know, he, he, he didn't play very much the first three, four, five games. and. Uh, then became, uh, you know, a staple on our starting lineup and uh, became our lockdown defender. You know, he, he had a tall task each and every night uh, by guarding the other team's best perimeter player. Uh, and he became uh, a really, really solid contributor on the offensive end. Uh, became one of our best perimeter shooters. And with his size and with his length, he can really, really affect the game uh, in a lot of different ways. And, you know, Eric Roby had a great year. You know, he, uh, the beginning of the year, we, we, we kind of had him in different areas, and, but, but really, really found himself about five, six uh, games into the season and, uh, and just had a terrific year, uh, was a consistent scorer for us, uh, was a leader on and off the floor for us, and, and really, really did some nice things. And, and also, Jake Starinsky, you know, our other senior this year, uh, did a lot of uh, a really, really good things. You know, even though Jake didn't play, as much as some of the other guys. Uh, he was just a tremendous teammate uh, and a big leader uh, in a lot of different ways for this program. Who are some other guys maybe that you've got coming back that you'd like to highlight that, that will be impacts for this team next year? You know, really everybody. Uh, you know, uh, obviously Jordy Moss, uh, you know, unfortunately uh, was out a big chunk uh, of the year with injuries, uh, but really started to hit his stride towards the end of the year uh, by getting healthy. Joey Schmitz uh, had a very, very good year. Uh, Todd Entenman came in as, you know, as a freshman, asked to play a lot of minutes towards the middle of the year, did a lot of good things. Uh, you know, Eric Miller uh, on the bench, you know, obviously didn't play as much, but uh, was a very, very uh, key uh, a guy. Uh, Patrick Lucas uh, as well had some really, really big moments throughout the year. And, you know, we, we were, like I said, one of the youngest teams uh, in our league and, and in the country, and uh, we're really, really excited about, about where, we're, where we're going as a program. As you move forward into the next year, obviously you're hitting the recruiting trail right now. How has that gone? Uh, what's that looking like for this upcoming season? It's gone really well. You know, we, we've signed three, we feel, uh, very dynamic perimeter players early in the fall uh, that, that we feel are going to uh, contribute uh, to our program. Uh, and we're also looking to, to add probably one, maybe two more players to our roster. Uh, 
uh, next year. Again, we're going to be uh, a young team again next year with, with the majority of our guys being freshmen, sophomores. But uh, we're really, really excited about uh, the work they're putting in now and, and their preparation for next season.